Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's feature presentation. Tonight, I am so happy to announce that the Thankful Awards are finally back in session. After years of quarantine, we just couldn't do it, but now we're back. We have 30 contestants tonight that are all super excited to be announced as winners of this year's contest. Because the main executive was way too anxious to actually message any of these people to see if they would be on the show, we have a very empty audience, but that's okay because these people need to be appreciated no matter if they show up or not. All right, so the first contestant, I hope you all are excited, I am too. This year we decided to do no official categories, just go through the list of names. So sounds good to me. The first award is for getting noticed by Jax Films and still making Lego SpongeBob videos. Bagel Game. I don't remember if I've talked about Bagel Gabe before, but he's one of my internet friends that still makes videos occasionally on the internet. He's a very entertaining guy who still makes LEGO SpongeBob videos. Normally I'm not one to watch LEGO videos because I personally have a past with them in, because I used to make them when I was like 11, but he definitely brings like a very humorous charm to it. And then I'll occasionally break it up with some live action videos in between the times where it takes him to make the videos. They are very well edited and I cannot wait for the next one. The award for staying spicy goes to CC Suarez. Now I have to be a little bit more transparent with this one. This is my literal boss. And one of the reasons I wanted to mention her in the video is because she is so close to 100,000 subscribers and she's trying to get there by the end of the year. She makes anti-scam content. So whether it relates to MLMs or just scumming people on the internet, she's gonna talk about it. I've been editing her videos for about a year now. And with personal experience, I can say that she's been absolutely wonderful to work with. She's got a great sense of humor and she's been very supportive of my own creativity. So yeah, definitely check her out because again, and she's definitely trying to get to the 100k mark, which would be really cool to see. The award for gaming. That's literally all it says is gaming. Etra's Games for Non-Gamers. Etra Games for Non-Gamers is basically Etra's side channel. I've talked about Etra before. He's in the process of trying to make games for non-gamers, and this channel is all about the games for non-gamers. In the future, I think he's trying to split these channels apart because this one is way more focused on the gaming for non-gamers. Very interesting content on YouTube. I haven't seen much of it from literally anybody else, so it's very unique in that aspect. Plus, I think the topic of trying to teach video games to non-gamers is just a very interesting topic in general and seeing the development process of him trying to make his tutorials and everything for the non-gamers is just a very interesting process to see the award for hyperfixation on a first person shooter goes to flying finn this is one of those animation channels that you see maybe once a year if they upload, but when they do, it's pretty great. The animation quality is really good, and I like it quite a lot. I don't even remember how I met this person, but I'm glad I did, and I'm glad I am subscribed. The award for What the Frick Did I Just Watch goes to... Flying Fit. This is one of those channels I've been subscribed to for a while now, and it's also one of those channels that uploads once a year, but when it does, it's very high quality. There is definitely a story to be told. And at the end, you're just like, what the frick did I just watch? It's that weird side of YouTube that's like very niche, but it's so unique that I've stuck around because I'm like, this is just so interesting to see. I actually first discovered this guy on Instagram because he did a bunch of like reels and then I followed him on his YouTube channel. And honestly, he's pretty hilarious. His videos are very comedic based and his joke writing is superb. The award for beautiful cinematography and editing goes to Hey Natalie. I got recommended a video by Hey Natalie, and ever since then I was hooked because of her cinematography, storytelling, editing. It was just all so interesting to me. She's very much a storyteller, and it definitely shows with her content. Plus, she has a series where she's living in a van, and I think that series in general, to just document the whole journey and then release it in highly edited episodes, was definitely a great choice for her. The award for make gun noises is hyper. 
This was another channel that also got recommended to me on YouTube. They don't upload a lot, but when they do, it's very interesting because as you can see, they tend to pop off a lot because of just the nature of gaming circles and FPS shooters. It's one of those videos that you send to your friend because you're like, okay, this is actually really funny. I'm gonna send this to the person that will probably like this. Basically, it's all about like in-game reload animations. And I don't know about you, but it's just very satisfying to watch. The award for, oh no, not another game review channel goes to Jack Sather. Jack Sather? How do we? Either one of those. It's fine. We're on live TV. When I first discovered Jack, it was definitely from a recommended video about Sick of Ubisoft. I was on the couch one day, I was just watching YouTube, and then this video popped up. And I'm like, ooh, that sounds like an interesting title because I don't like Ubisoft. I've stated that in many videos before. So that video definitely had me hooked. The way he analyzes certain situations and topics really keeps it interesting. He mostly focuses on games, some indie games here and there, some AAA games. He even talked about the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, which I thought was interesting. Definitely a media review channel for sure. I just like the way in which he dissects certain topics that he talks about. Plus, whenever he talks about an indie game, I'm like, that's awesome. I love indie games as well. The award for three-part music video goes to Jakeson. I know I've talked about Jakeson before in these thankful videos, but I wanted to specifically mention him now because he finally came back after like a year to drop a three part music video, which that concept in and of itself is pretty interesting. And I watched the entire thing and the beats go hard. The actual editing was very impressive. The lyrical genius was through the roof. And I think it's definitely worth a watch. The award for topical video essays once a year goes to Jarbs. Jarbs, I don't remember if I've talked about Jarbs before, but it makes very topical video essays while also incorporating a weird like recording aspect to his videos, not with the audio, but like with the visuals. I remember with the Celeste video, he was talking about it outside, which I thought was very clever because in Celeste, there's definitely like some snowy biomes. So I thought that was pretty clever of him to do. Just little stuff like that. The award for please come back to YouTube. Please, please, we all miss you so much because you make amazing content goes to Junie. I love Junie so much. Animation is actually beautiful. It's one of those YouTube channels, you watch it and you're like, how are you so underrated? Like this is absolutely incredible. I don't say that lightly, but yeah, please come back to YouTube Junie. Uh, I love your content and it would be nice uh, for you to post, but yeah. Speaking of posting. The award for losing her YouTube password for two years goes to Katie Emerson. I was hooked with Katie's content with the book covers video, and a lot of people were too, because it was actually recommended to me on YouTube. The video was definitely about the journey of making these covers, and overall, it was just a very fun, light, and wholesome watch, which I very much appreciated. I'm still waiting for some new content from her, so let's just hope she doesn't lose her password again. I am so hungry. The award for, hey, you did that video topic before me, so I couldn't do it anymore, and I had to make another video goes to Kuboto. Koboto, we're gonna, we're on live TV. <laughs> Kubato is a very interesting reviewer on YouTube. Instead of using a human voice, they use a AI generated voice, which in and of itself is a pretty unique way to review stuff. This channel definitely likes to focus on internet happenings, sometimes internet people, and he likes to mix in some skits here and there to keep it interesting. Plus, I also really like the editing. The award for Stephen King expert goes to Man Carrying Thing. This man is so funny. With Man Carrying Thing, I think he's in this weird in-between where like he's slowly growing on YouTube. Currently, he's kind of unknown, but he's definitely like continuing to grow. I think he just like reached 100,000 subscribers, which is crazy. But yeah, he makes skits on YouTube, very short skits. They're hilarious. I think if I were to recommend one video in general, the Stephen King video, I died laughing. I watched that recently and I couldn't stop laughing. It's so accurate and it's so true. If you if you like comedy, you'll probably like man carrying thing. I actually discovered him because of his video essay video that is like way too true and millions of people agree. The award for best religion goes to Mateoism. 
good old Mateo. I've been friends with Mateo for years now, and I don't remember if I've talked about his newer channel in the last stream or video about the thankful people, but Mateo now does live action comedy skits. They are hilarious. Every time he uploads, it's an event for me personally, because I always love to see new content from him. I've definitely talked about Mateo before. He was in actually one of my more recent videos. But yeah, I definitely highly recommend Mateoism, hilarious comedy sketches. And yeah, just I just had to shout out my friend because, you know, the award for mom and dad making YouTube challenge videos goes to Mr. and Mrs. Face. This channel is basically just YouTube challenges. It's that weird corner of the internet where it's like two people just having fun, like doing these random challenges. And what's really interesting is that their editor is actually Mateo, which makes sense why their editing is not only chaotic, but just amazingly funny. So if you want more of a wholesome side to the internet, that's definitely the place to go. Very much an old school YouTube vibe. The award for Rayman expert goes to Petronius. I'm very excited to talk about this person, Petronius, because I was binging their content, and honestly, I really love it so much. They do game reviews, indie games, AAA games. He's talked a lot about Rayman, which is really cool. And yeah, just overall, a really great game reviewer. The award for Penguin. That's that's all it says. Okay, who, who's writing these? Uh, <clears throat> goes to. Put no, wait, not Pangasitis. Pangasitis does reviews in a very interesting way. They're kind of like animated reviews where he has the animated character and then B-roll and then switches between. It's a pretty interesting watch. He adds skits in it occasionally. I've always liked the animated review section of YouTube. So if you also like that, then you'll definitely like this channel. The award for in-depth gaming challenges goes to Recollect. Recollect. One of those. Recollect is one of those channels where you're like, why are you doing this? But in like the best way possible. This guy makes long videos every single time he uploads. It's definitely a magnum opus, super in depth, insanely researched, playing games all the way through to give his full thoughts on it. And honestly, I appreciate that effort quite a lot. The links to which this man goes is absolutely insane for research purposes, and I love it. It makes me very happy whenever he uploads. The award for random video essay goes to Reese.com. Reese.com is one of my fellow friends on the internet who uploaded a random video essay. Honestly, it's pretty good for a first video essay. I definitely recommend it. I don't know if he's gonna do more, but Reese, if you're listening, you definitely should because I think they're great. The award for hating YouTube goes to Ryan NG Films. Ryan NG Films is one of those channels. It's very topical, but it's also very much storyline based as well. Storytelling is definitely an aspect with this channel. I think the two worlds of topical videos mixed with the storytelling aspect combines it in a way to make it pretty unique. I actually subscribed to him quite recently, and I think if I were to recommend a video by him, it would be Money Killed YouTube, Here's How We Fix It, where it addresses all of the problems with current YouTube and how a lot of people like to focus on on dollar signs and the worth of money when it comes to how they make their content. The award for, oh hey, I forgot I was subscribed to you, but that newest video was very funny, goes to Salutation Nation. Salutation Nation was one of those channels I subscribed to for so long, and they post very infrequently, sometimes even years between. But I would definitely recommend A Friendship Betrayed. That's definitely what got me hooked with their channel. It's very deadpan humor skits, so if you're into that sort of humor, then you'll definitely like it. The award for storytelling goes to Wholesome Side. Wholesome Simon is actually a friend of Natalie's, which makes sense because they did a video together like three months ago. Very much into storytelling vlog type content. His thumbnails are simple, but honestly, I kind of like that aesthetic for what he's going for. It's not super in your face content. It's just very chill with a heavy emphasis on story. It's also just fun, wholesome content. Like it's not super serious unless it wants to be. The award for inspiring me to make videos again goes to what no review. 
no, I wasn't kidding. This guy literally inspired me to make a lot more content recently. Originally, this was one of those channels that would upload every month, maybe every few months, but then something changed. He decided to take the time to really be on that grind set, and for the past basically three months, he's been uploading a lot, and honestly, the quality is incredible. He mainly focuses on first person slash third person storytelling games, which obviously I'm very much into, so it very much intrigued me. The first video I watched from him was his Dead to Rights Retribution retrospective, which although two and a half hours long, it's honestly like one of my favorite video essays from a smaller channel recently. Some more recent videos are definitely shorter than that, although I would say better if not equally as good as a retrospective. This guy is also always in my comments section, which I very much appreciate and I want to say thank you for that. The amount of support I've gotten from this guy is just absolutely insane. So that's another reason why I wanted to shout him out. So definitely check out Watt No Review. The award for the most unknown channel goes to X L U H T 9 I 6 Y C. Well, I've just been informed that somebody's YouTube account has been hacked, so this is why two step verification is very important. The award for Oh hey, I've seen you in my YouTube recommended before, goes to Yokai. You know those like channels that like rarely upload, but when they do, it's always in recommended. Yeah, that's basically Yokai. This person started at just making like music remixes, but then about nine months ago, they made their first video essay, how Spotify killed funk and boom, just kind of blew up. Their most recent videos are definitely ones that I've seen in my recommended. And I definitely recommend both of them because the editing is crazy good. Like really good, like so good. It makes me feel like a bad editor good. Like that's how insane insanely good they are. Not only are the topics interesting, but also the presentation is just stellar. The award for the best name change goes to... Whoa, I, I can't believe it. It's a tie between Zendrakegus and Slippy Boy formerly known as Zenny, makes video game reviews, but also has an animated twist to it. A floating head avatar stating why a game is good or bad. I've definitely talked about this channel before, and I've even shouted out this channel in a video of mine recently. So that's a little Easter egg for you. And if you haven't checked him out by now, then what are you doing? Go subscribe. The other animated game review channel is Slippy Boy, formerly known as SSS Simon. Simone? I don't know. I don't remember. Anyways, with Slippy Boy, he definitely likes to integrate this Game Boy Advanced aesthetic or just Game Boy aesthetic into his content and even his intro. Like if you click on a video of his, his intro is like so smooth. It's crazy. And I'm like, oh, that's unique. That's cool. I like that. I've never seen that before. So to see that in a smaller channel, I'm like, yes. You know what you're doing. This looks amazing. It's also very comedy based with jokes here and there, and I definitely highly recommend it. Well, that's all the time we have tonight. Thank you for tuning in to this special. See you next year if we can afford it. <laughs> is that good? Is that, is that good? Are we, are we good now? Everything's good? Cool. Uh, don't call me again. I'm never doing this again. You don't pay me enough. I'm not gonna see him, whatever. This wasn't even friggin' live TV. Thank you everybody for making amazing content this year. It's been a while since I've done this series, but I definitely got more motivated to do it because I really think that it's important to shout out people that are doing great things on the internet. So thank you to everybody for making amazing content. I will see you next year. Please, all of you viewers, subscribe to these people if they interest you. Check them out. Let your friends know. Don't be afraid to talk about other people's content and to share other people's content because we're all doing our best here on this platform to make the best quality content we possibly can.